What's up, everyone? V here today with the Voracious Ones. Voracious Ones, would you like to give the people a little bit of an introduction to yourself? Hey, I'm Tim. Uh, I'm a metal slash rap vocalist, I guess, from Melbourne. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, just doing my thing, I guess. Like, sometimes I rap, sometimes I do metal, sometimes I incorporate the both together, but... Um... Yeah, dope. I think I think that's a perfect introduction. And most of these questions, I guess, are going to get into uh, what you just said about being a metal artist and a rap artist as well at the same time. So uh, between between the two genres, do you think like what are some of the similarities and differences um, when you create those two genres when it comes to, I guess, writing and recording and maybe even editing if you if you do that yourself as well? I actually don't think there is too many similarities. Mm -hmm. I mean, when I do the metal stuff, there is the rap stuff influencing it. Um, I don't know why, just the way my mind works, mm -hmm. I will still write it like a rhyme. Um, right. It might not come out that way. Like I might break it up and hold out screams, do all that kind of thing. But mm -hmm. it's, I don't know. I've just, how I've always written lyrics. Even before I started rapping, it was just always very rhyme based. Um, as for the editing, recording, all that, it's it's very different. Like I mm -hmm. find rapping very therapeutic. It's right. not something I've spent a lot of time on. I would say I have a great deal of skill in, mm -hmm. but um, it's it's just not. It's like it's just chill. Like just go in, do your thing. Whereas the metal stuff, sometimes you got to feel a kind of way to be that aggressive. So so let's let's like uh, hypothetical. If you're like shit day from work you get home you're angry do you ever make an angry rap song or do you just make a metal song at that point i have <laughs> but like i generally release, release most of what i do um mm -hmm. but there's times where i'll just go home and write a couple of verses wrap it out and i'm like yeah that was therapeutic but that's not a song um yeah yeah <laughs> so the metal, the metal stuff the metal stuff is much easier for that um Mm -hmm. and I guess that's why I do both like a lot of the rapping stuff I do is still it might not be performed aggressively mm -hmm. but it's still I don't know there's a lot of anger beneath it yeah like, I mean there's songs about sex and stuff as well but <laughs> um yeah I guess the metal stuff's just good for that it's it's yeah. an actual release like performing a vocal like that is i don't know like screaming at someone it's yeah, yeah. it's therapeutic for that fantastic so i guess it's just like another another outlet for you it's a it's a different outlet to rap music yeah 100 percent. That, yeah. that's the only reason i do both to be honest like depending on my mood is what will come out of me and i never know because i'll tell everyone i'm going back to metal for three years or whatever and then a day later i'll uh yeah i don't want to do metal i want to rap well, I guess, you know, that sort of leads on to the next question. Do you think there's a room in there for a third genre or is there another mood you might have that would call for another genre of music or at the moment you're just going to, you're going to stick to rap and metal? I'd love to, but I don't have the level of skill to take it that far, I guess. Like, because I'd love to sing. I'd love to have singing. I'd love to have rapping. Like, I'd love to incorporate. Mm -hmm. I guess I gotta stay in my lane a bit. Like I'm already stretching it with the rap stuff, but um being another Melbourne artist, I think you might be you might be the first Melbourne based artist I've interviewed on here. I'm trying to think. Yeah, yeah, you know, you definitely are. Um, so because of that, I can ask you questions about the local scene. What do you think of the local scene yeah. when it comes to hip hop and metal here in Melbourne? And is there any artists we should be looking out for? Look, I've always loved the hardcore and metal sort of scene mm -hmm. since being a teenager. Um, and I have a lot of respect for the heavy artists in Australia. Mm -hmm. As for hip hop, like, I don't know. I don't know how to say this without being condescending. Um, I'm not huge on Australian hip hop mm -hmm. for the most part. I do like artists like Husky and like you actually stuck out to me like mm -hmm. without actually asking me to be on it or anything like it's just a very unique sound thank you and like i'm not trying to run down the australian scene but i mean <laughs> i feel like it's from what i've heard it's very stale mm -hmm. um it's very repetitive with all the drill movement and everything nothing against drill but 
I don't know. Like, I guess I'm always kind of a metalhead at heart anyway, so I always kind of put that first. But mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know. You you would know better than me, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the I hope you're editing this because I'm kind of rambling a bit. No, no, it's all right, man. It's all right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you're, answer, you're answering the questions pretty well, I think. Um, and I, I agree. I, I, don't I, be, I don't want to be too negative. That's, yeah, no, that's no, 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 no. I, I, I mean, you're being you're being honest, you know? You're being honest. And, yeah. And your honesty is is a negative negative answer. I think that's all right. And I, I agree. I agree with you, too, that I think... Yeah. Um, I don't think, like... I, I used to think just, like, all Aussie hip-hop was just straight trash. I'm not going to lie. Especially moving here yeah. from New Zealand. I think New Zealand's underground hip-hop culture is much richer than Australia's. Um, and it doesn't it doesn't get the shine that Australian no has. not really really to yeah really, well really. over here anyway yeah yeah exactly so but moving over here it was hard to listen to at first but like recently I have started to appreciate more and more Australian music but I agree with you that for the most part in Melbourne it is pretty slack like a lot of the dope yeah. Aussie artists I know are in like Brisbane and Sydney um and maybe even Perth yeah. or something like I actually don't know anyone else really in melbourne there's only one other rapper in melbourne on this album um and he's like like he lives in phillip island i don't know if you really count that okay yeah, yeah. Melbourne. yeah. you know like he's, <laughs> he's he's pretty close he's nearby and he, he grew up in like he grew up in actual melbourne so um he, he's pretty much from melbourne um but yeah there there is one other artist um that's from melbourne but he's he's on there as like a vocalist but he's he does like heavy music as well um so that song's like a okay. rock uh rock and metal song by the time this episode is out the whole album's out so that song will be out but yeah you'll get to you'll get to hear it hopefully on the 17th um prayer for the living yeah. that's my first ever rock rap song it'll be really interesting to see what you think of it since you know you 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 do heavy stuff and you rap as well um but yeah it was it was fucking really really fun to do um but yeah anyways i'm i'm rambling now so i'll i'll shut up i'll <laughs> I'll, I'll get on i'll get on with honestly the last question um of the interview which is what i always like to do is a fucked up would you rather question i love the music answers and all the music questions are great but this question is the really important one so Normally I make these would you rathers somewhat music related, but like I didn't even bother this time. All right. It's, it has nothing to do with music whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, um, I, this was sort of hard for me to answer because both sound pretty fucking grim. But anyways, <laughs> the voracious ones, the people would like to know, would you rather bathe in your own pee for 12 hours or drink a shot of someone else's and that's it no bathing look that's really hard because it's pretty hard to answer because i've done both so oh shit but. that's 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 <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> no sorry what was the question you know <laughs> would i rather bathe in my own pee or drink a shot of someone else's yeah yeah is that what it was? your own piss for 12 hours oh. it's not like a, it's not like a 20 minute bath you know like by the like end how of much that 12 hours <laughs> by the end of that 12 hours that's going to be really cold piss yeah i think i'd just um shot the piss and chase it to something else i guess because i don't really want to be marinating in my own piss <laughs> Fantastic. Well, honestly, like that, the whole reason <laughs> I got you to do this interview is because I wanted to get you on camera saying that you would drink your own piss. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Thank you for that, bro. Um, all right, we'll we'll wrap it up real quick with the with the fucking ABC challenge. So, this is real quick, real simple. I I gave you a quick brief on it before. You just got to say the alphabet as fast as you possibly can. I'll be timing it on my little like recorder here, but it's not always accurate. So I'll time it in post edit as well. Um, yeah, hopefully, okay. hopefully your audio and video, nothing cuts out. So it's, it's all good, but yeah, I'm ready to start the timer whenever you're ready. So take a deep breath, do whatever you need to do and go for it. All right. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, F, A, Q, R, S, T, V, W, X, X, Y, and Z. Oh shit. Okay. I got, bro, bro. <laughs> do, do, do you want to know what's funny? Do you know the time that I got, I might have been a little bit. You slow. didn't time it, or I been, yeah, I timed it. I timed it. I might have been a little bit <laughs> on tapping it because I wasn't expecting you to start so fucking quickly. But the time My I bad. got was four twenty. 
four sec four point two seconds. Four twenty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which is pretty funny. And post edit, I'll be able to see exactly how uh, quick it was. I think it was faster than that. I think it was under four seconds. Um, but you got one more attempt, so I'll give you one more shot of that if you want to take a sip of your drink and then go for go for one more attempt. Are you ready? I'm ready. You are. Yeah. Are you sure you're ready? I'm sure. A B C D E F G H O J K L M N P Q R S T V W X Y and Z. Ooh, okay, that was way quicker, bro. That was under three seconds that time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I, I was that was you know under three seconds with my timing. I think it's even faster in post edit, but yeah, um, we'll see. I'll see how that how that ranks up against all the other people I've uh, interviewed once once this video goes up. Um, but yeah, thank you so much, man, for for spending some time with me and answering those questions. It was great knowing more about you. Um, before I let you go, do you want to tell the people a little bit more about any projects you got coming out or anything you've just released? Um, just released Friday, go on a cover of Limp Bizkit's Brave Stuff. Um, I don't have any set dates for things that are coming. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be doing a stupidly heavy song just for the sake of doing something stupidly heavy. Mm -hmm. um, I've pretty much recorded that. So I'd say next three to four weeks, there'll be something stupidly heavy coming yeah fuck yeah sweet maybe by the time this drops, <laughs> it's, you've already got more details on it i can leave those details in the description below for anyone who wants to know more about that all right oh, awesome geez, man bro. thank you so much bro again it was great spending some time with you have a great night peace out you too man thanks for having me on One hit, feel it in the system leave behind the fools who are dealing misstep tripping